Hello everyone, Tammy here. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel. Today is um, Muckabout Monday and um, I'm going to be sharing just some things with you, random things, and then um, doing the artsy part. Um, so I ordered some <clears throat> some stamps from Amazon and I'm also um, I'm probably going to order some from scrapbooking.com because um, I need I want some that are a little bit bigger than this but Roxy's weekly challenge this last week was a really fun one and I want to participate so I needed I have the sticker paper but I don't I didn't I don't have any well I have these now but I didn't have any label stamps um, so now I do so um, so yeah, so I'm going to use these um, in that challenge, and then I'm going to order some more, um, f like I said, from scrapbooking.com. So that's uh, one thing. Okay, and then, so I've been working on my um, Woodland journals, as you all know. Um, I did a just a very informal uh, flip through recently. Um, but I wanted to show you that I've been making these covers um, and I thought it would be fun to do a um, like a, a, a flip of what you usually do. So that would be fabric on the inside and then collage papers on the outside. Um, I'm not I, I'm not going to use these. Um, I don't like how I really like softer covers. So uh, what I'm going to do is figure out how to make these softer, um, maybe cut this and then bind it with um, something like some fabric or something that makes it more floppy. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I like them. They're pretty, um, but they're just not what I want for this. So um, this one I did, but I haven't collaged yet. And then... Um, here's one that I got a little bit further, like actually, you know, but I'm just not, I, I just don't like, I just don't like the stiffness. So when I, um, after I'm done showing you a couple other things, um, then I will be back with what I'm going to do with, um, with my covers now what I decided to do. So uh, I'll see you shortly. Okay, here's another fun um, share, happy mail that I got. Um, this is from um, Carol at Free, <coughs> excuse me, at Free Spirit Arts. Um, look at this paper, is really cool. Um, our addresses are underneath here, so I don't really wanna show up, but yeah, pretty paper. I'll, I'll see if I can save it off of here. I don't know if I can. Um, but I won. Um, she did a few giveaways <clears throat> for 500 subscribers on her channel. And I was one of the winners. So, um, I got this yesterday. Um, but I was, I didn't have time to do a video of me opening it. So... Sorry, I have a very, very runny nose this morning from my allergies. I don't really want to. Ooh. Do this off camera. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I'm so excited. Um, where's my Kleenex? Sorry. Oh, I'm super excited for this right here because I want to try this. This is one of my um, Try It Tuesdays that I will be um, doing. It's faux leather that Carol makes. Um, oh, look at this pretty washi tape. Okay, I'm just going to... <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, this um this washi tape is beautiful. Love it. It's really good in a in a botanical journal or a, a fairy journal. Very nice. Now I gotta find somewhere to put it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it over here for now. Okay. Oh, nice little um, tag that she made. Really like that. It's a little thank you tag. Very nice. And then this, um, I need to get some of this zipper. I think this is called zipper binding. Okay, that's pretty fun. Wow, that's cool. I've never uh, handed, had any of that before, so... That's pretty cool. And then uh, little cute little buttons from um, a mattress that she took apart. Um, and some nice string. Always use string, can't we? Okay. And what, ah, oh, I'm so glad she sent me this. I love this. I have to do this. For sure. I mean, wow, that feels amazing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Carol. I love that. Oh, look at these goodies. Okay, little um, little matchbook, um, little notepad, adorable, love it, very cute. Oh, look at that! That is so cool. The little um, looks like Tim Holtz paper and some uh, looks like washi tape maybe. Very cute. Oh, this is a little tea. Um, oh, this is adorable. I have not thought of doing this. I love this. So a little tea bag with a little um, journal card inside. Carol, this is adorable. I love it. Super cool. Super cute. Oh, look at this. A little faux envelope. Carol is so clever. Oh, look at these. Oh, I love this. This is just a little decoration. It's made out of like, looks like, I don't know, some kind of fiber paper. Very nice. Oh, love it. Love it, love it. Oh, I saw these. 
Oh yeah, this is the one that I also need to try it. Oh, look at that. This is cool. I like this a lot. Wow. Look at, so pretty, all the little details. I have a stamp kind of like this, uh, but I think this is paper. Oh, love it, love it. Thank you, Carol. Ooh, look at this little bag of goodies. Oh, I'm so excited for these feathers. Okay, here's one. Actually, I'm gonna put this right here. So that's a plain feather to decorate. <clears throat> Here's another one. Ooh, got a handful of these. These are all plain, <clears throat> ready to experiment with. Maybe I'll do something uh, muck about Monday, maybe on this video, maybe I'll do something with these. Um, so I watched her make these. These are um, flowers from her cabin that were dried in a book. And then she laminated them front and back. She does, oh, so, I love this. This is so cool, Carol. Love it, love it. And then here's the little feathers that she experimented with. Look at that. That's got like some, um, I don't know if it's glitter glue or what that is, but then she colored it with um, ink. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then another plain one. So, and then a little glassing bag. Love, love. So yeah, this is beautiful. Love it. I don't have the same... Um, I don't have the same, I think they were new, Nouveau, Nouveau drops. I have some other, um, like pearly type drops. I, I'm not going to buy new stuff right at the moment. Um, I'm going to use what I have, but I will play around with those for sure. Okay. I'm going to put those up there. Okay. Oh, this is a nice little, um, piece of vellum that has a, a little gold frame on it. Oh, I love these. I don't have any die cuts or anything personally, a machine or anything. Oh, I like this one. This is like, oh, it looks like watercolored on there. Pretty. These are pretty. These will look cool in a, in a journal. Oh, look at this. I believe this fabric is from Two and a Half Mile Art. Um, I have ordered some of this upholstery um, swatches. I, I do have from them, um, and I love it. Um, and then I just ordered a couple packets of fabric. But look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. That's a nice piece. Love it. Wow, Carol, this is amazing. And I'm super excited to say that <laughs> this is my first Edith Holden anything um, from Carol. I've never seen Edith Holden in person. So these are, I think this is um, Italian uh, dic dic dictionary page. Love that. It's beautiful. It feels really nice. It's got pretty um, things around the edges. Love it. And then look, Edith Holden. Love that. So pretty. Very cool. Thank you so much. Mmm, love that. I'll have to do something special with those. Well, that's nice paper and everything. And then here's a 
piece of party paper. That's what I'm going to call it. Very nice. And then these are some papers that I think Carol has uh, coffee or tea dyed. Um, smelling it because she said some of it might smell a little bit like lavender um, but these papers do not oh look at that so I just did this um on my try it Tuesday I think it was try it Tuesday uh where I st uh, stenciled with inks right onto my paper love the way it looks and I got that idea from Carol look at these these are gorgeous Wow, Carol, thank you so... Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Oh, love, love. Just so fun. Love these. So let's just go through. Like that. I feel like I can smell a little bit of something, but... Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. So pretty. Thank you so much, Carol. These are just gorgeous. And listen. <laughs> oh, so much love for those. And then this is a big sheet. Oh, this is like that packing paper. Um, really soft. Really nice. Really pretty. Okay. So that's the end of my prize from Carol for her 500 um, subscriber giveaway. So generous, Carol. Oh my goodness. I'm just in awe of everything. Oh, thank you so much. Super excited. Um, and I am excited. To, I was always curious what this felt like. This is lovely. Love it. Yay. Okay. Well, that'll do it for um, this portion. I have lots of shares this week. Lots of things to show. Um, not sure what I'm going to do for the craft. I think I might uh, try the feathers. Got them. Might as well use them and do some things with them and see how they turn out. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you in the next segment. So today I'm going to make... The first of um, the covers for my woodland journals. So um, I'm inspired by Carol at Free Spirit Arts. Um, and I have done this before, um, which is to um, collage a cover. However, I have never done it like on a paper bag. So that's what I'm going to do here. And so it's going to go like this. So what I'm going to do first is put down a base um, collage, basically. And I'll get that started on um, camera. And then I will um, sorry. And then I'll I'll um, speed up the tape or probably um, pause it and then finish the collage and then come back um, when it's all done and collaged and dry. And um, But I'm going to use some of the papers that, um, that I, I used if you um, saw my finish it up Friday. I did some... Um, some big strips and I'm just gonna use some of that paper and for the adhesive I'm using this matte medium um, instead of uh, glue or anything it it sticks really well and um, 
yeah, I just, I like the look that it gives too and how it feels and how if I decide I want to do something on top of the collage, I can, whatever that might be. So I'm just going to start um, gluing some papers down. So I'll just, like I said, I'll go through and do a little bit um, with you on camera just to get started. And then um, the rest of it I'll do, I'll do off camera because for one, um, I'm not normally a super chatty person. <laughs> Um, so I won't, I won't have a whole bunch to say, uh, and you know, all of you know how to collage and this is a pretty big piece, so it's gonna, it's gonna take a while to, to get through it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I am going to now um, gesso this so you can see how I do that. So I have a, this is just a palette, palette sheet and get my brayer right here and then my gesso, which I use uh, Liquitex Basics. I use golden, um, you know, whatever, either Liquitex or Golden, those are actually the best. Um, so let's do this. And then I just come through here like this and then So this muck about Monday um, was inspired uh, by my friend Carol at Free Spirit Arts. Um, she does this technique a lot. Um, I've used it on some collage boards, um, but not actually um, a cover. So, and and on uh, the next one, I'm gonna use um, some different stains on it instead of the I'm, I'm not saying I won't use the distress because I might um, but for this mucking about I'm gonna try something different and see what happens So I'm gonna let this dry and set this one aside. And get the other one out. Okay. So this one is already dry. So what I'm gonna try on this one is um, I almost maybe want to use this even just to be different, just to try it. So I have these um, distress stains and I have um, peeled paint and vintage photo. So I'm going to put them straight on here. And I've never done this before, so I'm not sure how it's going to work, but look at that color. Oh my gosh, that color is gorgeous. So let's try this first and see what happens. So this, remember, this is dry. This I just sewed this a couple of days ago. more. It's 
some more out there. There we go. So we had a bout of um, fall-like weather, and now it's back to summer. <laughs> so all the windows open, and um, definitely be using the, sorry, I know I'm not in frame. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's, let's do this side where you can see me. Yeah, so hot again which I guess is good for it is a, a holiday weekend so there's probably people that are out camping and um, you know doing what people like to do on Labor Day weekend okay so there's that with the vintage photo so now I'm going to wipe this off Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and then um, come through maybe with some of those inks where I brayer it on. Um, also, maybe I'll just try it now. This is aged mahogany. I think I'm gonna call this one good. I like it. Um, and then I need to figure out what, where, and what the focal point is going to be. Um, and then be back. Okay, so these are dry, and I've decided that I want to um, put some. Um, matte medium on top so when I did the collage I put it on with matte medium then I put gesso on top then I've put some ink and I know that this ink is water soluble so I am going to um, try something that I've not tried um, and that is dabbing it on with a uh, handy dandy paper towel. So, um, yeah, this is muck about Monday, so I'm just hopefully not ruining the second set of, <laughs> um, not that I ruined the first set, they're just not what I wanted, and I am going to experiment, but I haven't, I do have challenge with making covers. Um, I, I, yeah, it's not one of my favorite things to do. And 
Um, I don't know why I feel so much stress about it, but I do. So you can see that the ink, even just dabbing it down, the um, matte gel is causing some of the color to come up. So that's why I didn't, I didn't want to brush it because if I did that, it would just, all of these pretty colors right here would just blend and it would just be brown. So, um, so I'm doing it this way and it might give it a little interesting texture. I wanted it to be softer because it's really rough feeling and some of the edges are, I, I don't know. I just want to see what this does. So that's what I'm doing here. And this is the time to do it on Muckabout Monday. I am back with my um, covers. So I I did the um, where I just dabbed on the um, matte matte gel matte medium, and uh, yeah, I like the way it looks. And then I went through and I added some gesso around the edges because I'm going to put some paper down here. And then I added fabric on the outside and on the inside. So I have that one. And then I have this one. And then I have this one, which I kind of already started um, putting together. I just wanted to see how it was all going to look. So the signature will go here like this and then I uh, put some paper here and I made a little pocket out of some um, upholstery scraps that I got from two and a half mile art um, so then yeah the signature will go in here and then this will go like this and then it's gonna have um, like a sari silk around it but I am going to decorate this, and that's what part of this is. I grunged um, this paper up, and then I'm going to put a little a seam, so to speak, on here. Um, and then I also put a little pocket here. And then this one, yeah, this one has a pocket here also. So yeah, so it's kind of a fun um, interactive cover, um, yeah, that I... I I like so I'm I'm happy with these and then uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, finish these uh, on camera well yeah so uh, also what I did is I um, just totally inked around these edges I did forget to ink around this paper which I am gonna hopefully remember to do um, so yeah, so I just gessoed around because there were some spots where there was um, writing that you could see on the bag. Um, so yeah, so that's what I did there. So since this one is um, almost done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish putting my scene on here. So um, I did, they're all going to have similar covers. So, um, with a, a paper here, and then I made some, um, then just grunged up more paper, and I stamped these um, that say journal. So they'll go, this will go on the other side, you'll see in a minute. So, let's just get to it. I am super excited to have these done um yeah it's it always gets to the point in a project where you're just like come on already let's be done <laughs> um 
That's why I, I actually like to make my covers first because um, to me they're the they're the hardest part and I I always get stuck. Um, so um, yeah. It's so funny because I, I always wish I could make my cover first, but then I don't want to make the cover until I've done the uh, some of the inside because I don't know. I just like to know. I like to get a feeling for the book before I make the cover, if that makes sense. I don't know. Probably doesn't make sense. That and then so yeah even this has taken me way longer than I thought um, I'm actually finished the, finishing this up on Monday so I'm way behind on I like to pre-record for the first three days of the week so I know that I have content for at least three days, um, but it's all good. So these edges, um, I just grunged up with my scissors, just scraped my scissors along the edge. And if a piece tore, um, I was totally fine with that. Uh, I just let it tear and then I just grunged it up. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do for these other ones is uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the decorative covers on, on um, video, and then like grunging up the edges. Um, well, I guess I could show you a little bit of that. So I just take my um, walnut stain. And then I just kind of come around the edge like this. So this um, has a pocket there, just like the other one. Um, so that's basically what I do to grunge that up. And then this one is a little bit different. This has um, pockets up here and they just go to here. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them all open because I have um, but I think that might be kind of cool. It's a little bit different. Um, so yeah, so I'm not going to uh, bore you with, um, you know, going all around the edges, but that's just, that's what I do. Um, and I'll do that off camera. And then, so then for this, I love the colors of this one, how this one turned out really nice. Um, so then I have a 
couple. I think I want to do this one. Okay, I got all the papers um, ready to go and fabric pockets um, cut out. So uh, all I need to do is now glue these down. And I decided to use the, um, the Fabri-Tac tack on all of it just because um, I, it just feels like the right thing to do. So. Go ahead and
Okay. So, what my plan is, is to make some things out of the leftover paper, which I think will look really, really nice inside here. So that'll go there. That'll go there. And there'll be something in here. We'll tab or something sticking out. Yes. Okay. It's going to look very, very, very nice. I'm very excited. Okay, so I'm going to let this all dry. And then... Um, so the signatures in and make some more ephemera and uh, but I'm calling this um, muck about Monday video done um, now I need to go edit and get it uploaded um, so that's what I'll be doing so thank you all for watching um, I appreciate you hanging in with this whole um, cover thing covers I think at some point they're not going to be so intimidating to me um I th I think I'm finally kind of figuring out the material that I like to use and how I like to do it um I do I love doing the collage for sure um not sure I love the ink a bunch um but that doesn't mean I wouldn't use it again um I just might next time use more neutral colored papers. Um, but I love the way this looks. I'm super, super happy with this. So, and I like that it's a little, a little grungy looking, but um, still nice and neat. And yeah, it's going to look great in this cover. Uh, hopefully it continues to lay flat, which is my one of the things that I like my journals to do is to lay flat. So yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching and um, yeah, I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.